Okay. Let's go to the slide 43. Okay, from here we have a lot of fun actually. This one is more. Who has a program, program something in C or C plus in last year within a within a year? Okay, C or C plus plus. Okay, good. We will have a lot of fun because we're going to see the API call with all parameters and return values in very detail. Okay. Right. I'm preparing. Let's see. So, so for this lab, we are going to do. No, actually, never mind. I jump into too quick. Since there was a multiple method, right? There's a using the app init DLL registry key, right? Then there is a create remote thread API call, and there was even. Do I remember everything? Okay, then. There was um, okay, the set windows hook yet and code K. So for actually the first one, app in DLL is a registry key. We know how to use the web chart, right? So and let's do the do the lab on slide 43. I think you can do it without my help, right? So please uh, follow the uh, steps that this is on 43. And please uh, try to answer the question, three questions. Okay, let's go uh, uh, see. And the question one, what is the maneuvering method? The answer is, do you see the result? It's very uh, basically too clear. Uh, not clear two again two plain question. So since we just learned about the app Indian underscore DLL, right? So the menu maneuvering method is it is using the app init underscore DLL. Right? Everyone got the result? Right? You see that one? Okay. And let's see. I am going to actually run as well. No, I would think of it. So let me fill this one, read this one. We are supposed to run uh, pay right. right, and I'm going to execute. Right, okay, good. It disappeared, so it is actually deleting itself. Right. Okay, let's give a little bit of time so we can have a change values or change uh, change the uh, uh, the system. All right, then I'm going to get the other second registry snapshot. Then compare. Okay. Let's see. What uh how does it maneuver, right? Actually for this one really we just learned about the app in it underscore DLL, right? So it was very clear. Okay, how does it uh what's the method? Okay, it is using the app in it DLL registry key. And for that, it is actually registered as a F uh, FMS IO CPS DLL, right? Do we know more details about it by just looking at it? Let's see. Uh, 
we don't because we didn't specify the uh, uh, looking at the directories, right? The red red chart again we actually did a you know, click this one, right? But we know m underscore init uh, underscore dll is being used, and actually I'm thinking. Uh, no, never mind. Okay. All right. I will close it and just for uh, just for to see where that you know DLL has been created. I'm going to actually run it again. And let's see. Since I already actually know the answer. This time I'm going to check this box, right? And then I will compare only this Windows directory. Okay. I made the made the first snapshot. Okay. Let's execute the sample again. Okay, it disappeared. I'm gonna let it run a couple of seconds. Then make the second shot. Then compare. Alright. So here as a, a regist registry value, I see this one at init underscore DLL. And let's see if I can find this DLL somewhere else here. There we go. Do you see another the diff entry? Files added, right? And now you know the DLL is uh, added into Windows System 32, uh, this directory, right? Okay, but we see other you know, uh, files, but we're going to ignore it for now, okay? Because I want to focus on the maneuvering te uh, techniques only, okay? Right, then I'm going to. Before kill this VM, let's see what was the more question. Okay, so our uh, second question is, where is it maneuvering? Somebody can answer the question. Where does uh, this malware is maneuvering to? Well, it's going to get loaded when the user 32 is required. That's right. Every application that it requires, uh, that uses the user 32 that DLL, it requires the users the same, right? Right? Okay, cool. And the question three, I mean, open question means there may be not be actual just answer, right? May not be right answer, but just, you know, guessing basically what's going on. Any theory why it is maneuvering to there? She got every, you know, processes. What's gonna be? That's right. Yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. So if, if since if we're gonna uh, maybe kill over, you know, to monitor every processes, so we can get, you know, maybe you want to get the password from the uh, Internet Explorer, you know, or you can get, you know, if there is uh, some other, you know, GUI program that actually you are supposed to enter some password to go to somewhere else, then you can uh, grab that one, right? Yeah. So it, actually. By basically, you know, injecting its own code to every process, it has a much, uh, it has a much, much uh, better like, visibility on this entire system, right? That's the uh, yes answer, 43. And let's see. The answer covers 44, 40, okay, 44. 